And welcome back. It is the week of What If. And we are starting off with a quick one. Uh, this one comes to us from Owen Anderson, who asked the question, What would have happened if Gohan had used the Blotara to fuse not with Goku, but with Tien uh, to fight Super Boo? Bo uh, bro mind you, not Buhan, Super Boo. So to answer that question, we got to first ask the question, what exactly would have happened uh, to allow that scenario to take place? Well, I think what would happen is this, twofold. A, Goku doesn't even have the earring on. He's about to, th he tosses one earring to Gohan, Gohan drops it, he, and goes for it. Boo's just like, uh, Go uh, Goku's just like, oh wait, no, and then finally then he stalls Super Boo, Super Saiyan 3, that fails miserably. He goes like, I got it! And then Tien comes and blasts Boo. It's not a whole thing happens, but Tia, you know, Tien kind of is knocked out, but he's not, um, uh, but he's not, he, let's say he's not down for the count yet. He's kind of just, uh, was like, uh, uh, he, he, he's, you know, huffing and puffing. Goku's about, go, it's like, I got it. like, no, you don't, got you! It's like, how to go, Dad! It's like, uh, and then Goku just, so Boo goes to absorb Goku instead of Gohan, and he you know, tosses me, nah, take it, it's like take it, feels it to the end, do it. And then go, bo, super, so Super Boo instead absorb instead of absorbing um, Gohan absorbs Goku. Now Goku was not as strong as Gohan, uh, as far as we could tell. Though to be fair, the Buhan we were seeing was much weaker, like Buhan with Gotenks and Piccolo overshadowed both Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Gohan. But we don't know how Super Saiyan 3 Goku would have handled Super Boo. Um, it's it's implied, honestly, that if you really, if you really look how things played out, because Goku was confident that him and Gohan together could easily take on Boo after that, after Go, uh, Gotex defused from in him. Um, it's implied that Super Saiyan 3 Goku probably could have gone at least toe-to-toe -to -toe with Super Boo. Maybe he wouldn't have dominated, uh, uh, dominated him like Gohan did, but he could have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe probably. Uh, because Kid Boo is stronger than Fat Boo, but not as strong as Boo Han or Go to or Boo Tanks or Boo Icolo. Um, but I, I think he's probably stronger than Super Boo. And go and Goku could go toe to toe and was arguably stronger than Kid Buu, uh, at least initially before you know Super Saiyan Street Three's power drain to start. So you could make the argument that Goku could have beaten that anyway. Um, but so whether or not Gohan was actually stronger than Super Saiyan Three Goku is up in the air. It's implied very much that he was though, um, at least on, in in terms of the fact that he didn't have the stamina drain or anything like that. So, he absorbs Goku. Now, he's got all the power of Goku, but obviously, Boo doesn't transform or anything. But he's got pretty much the few, absorbed power of, of, Go, of Goku. Which, drastically, and he's still got the shirt, so he still looks like Boo, uh, like Super Buhan. So now, Gohan's like, that's to throw the earring to him. To Tien. And they fuse, and they turn into... I tried to figure out the name. Would it be Goen? Or Gohan, Gohan, Gohanin, or Tianhan. I I go Tianhan, uh, but you know he looked like Gohan. His he still had the hair. He'd have the eye. Now in terms of a power increase, there would definitely be a power increase. Definitely, would it be some drastic? Uh, it would not be that. It, it, you'd probably have to look at go whatever Gohan's power is and maybe double it. That's what you're probably looking at there. Now, the question is, is that an individual who is strong enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Boo, uh, Buku, as it was? <laughs> yeah, it'd be Bu Buku. Uh, or Bu, uh, Bu Ato, like Kakarato, or Kakarot, so Buat, uh, Buarat, I don't know. Buku, we'll go Buku, because that's funny to say. Buku! Uh, so Buku and Buku and Tianhan go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Now, Boo, Tianhan would have all the abilities of Goku and Tien as well. So he'd have access to Solar Flare, Multiform Technique, uh, Tri-Beam, or Ka, Tri Kamehameha as it probably would, or Tri Senko Ha, <laughs> take your pick. Um, so they would definitely be going toe-to-toe -to -toe after all. But the difference is also they would not have the cockiness of, say, like Vegeta and like the... Um, uh, the uh, lightheartedness of Goku per se, they'd be very serious in taking Buhan out. 
or Buku out. They'd be very serious about that. Unfortunately, I think Buha does still edge them out in terms of power level. Excuse me. I think that is the case. So uh, it'd be back and forth uh, for a while. But again, uh, he you know he'd use like the ghost technique, um, multi laser. They use the multi form technique. And that being said, they'd also show off Super Saiyan as well. They could go Super Saiyan again. Remember, uh, ultimate and or ultimate form. So you'd have ultimate that that's the, the real key here is that there'd be ultimate uh form uh Tianhan. So that that'd be the real takeaway when it comes down to do does one beat the other? Well, yes, obviously. Who end, ends up winning that fight though? Uh, see that's that is debatable who could who would ultimately win the fight long term. I think unfortunately uh, it would probably be Buku, and I think it's just because Buku would still be the naturally stronger of the two, because while they would have increased power as a fusion between Tian and Gohan, they wouldn't, uh, they would not, they don't have any, like, uh, rivalry or anything like that, Gohan and the Tian. They don't have much compatibility, I mean, and strength-wise, I mean, Gohan's up here, Tian's down there, so y you see the problem there. It, it wouldn't be that big a buff. Uh, like I said, that's why I'm like, oh, maybe Gohan's power, maybe like double Gohan's power at best. And that just wouldn't be able to cut it against Boo at this point because he's got Goku's power, add on Go, uh, Gohan, or Goten and uh, Trunks and Piccolo's and everyone else he's eaten. So he, he is, his power is pretty drastic at that point in terms of an increase. Uh, whereas Gohan's, even let's say let's say see you have to figure out where Goku Gohan's power stands as opposed to Goku's power as Super Saiyan thing because that's pretty much Go Boo could uh to could um gather up all of Goku's power which means he'd have the equivalent of Super Saiyan three added on to his power. Uh, so where does Super Saiyan three Goku stand because as opposed to Ultimate Gohan and would double that be more than Goku added on to Boo? Now. Going into a power level thing is tough to do, but I believe I've kind of done it before. I've done it the numbers before, and I don't know if I'll ever do those power level videos I said I would. But uh, essentially, Goku is somewhere around 6 billion at Super Saiyan 2. They they did the math of the whole Killy thing. I'm not going to go into it again, but more or less, one Killy from Bobby's Mirror is equal to about a billion. Goku had three, or uh, should be 1,000 Killies is equal to about a billion. Goku was at 3,000 killies, which is equal to about 3 billion. Super Saiyan 2, 6, uh, 6 billion, times 4 with Super Saiyan 3, that's 24 billion. Boo is prob was probably somewhere in the neighborhood, about 12 billion after he ate Debora. Uh, and he probably kept increasing bit by bit, like exponentially. Uh, but it probably was still only like 15, maybe 18 billion. So Goku was still far outclassed Fat Boo, and he even said he could defeat the Fat Boo if you really had to. Fat Boo and Thin Boo combined, though, was probably something more like double whatever Boo's initial power was, because they were two sides of the same coin, and then Fat Boo, uh, Thin Boo ate him, and then basically became Super Boo, who was smarter, uh, had a better a body, better for fighting, things along those lines. So, if we assume he was at 15 billion, maybe, let's, let's say conservatively around there, then that would double him to about 30 billion, which would put him above Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But Gohan easily outclassed Super Boo. So that would put Gohan probably around 40 billion minimum. So the way he was easily bitch slapping Boo around. <laughs> the way he was easily bitch slapping Boo around. Um, so that then begs the question. So. If we just multiply the um, multiply go on by two, that's eighty billion. Multiply then you basically gotta do the math of the Super Boo, who's around thirty. We'll just say for sake of sakes. Good now, Goku Super Saiyan three is twenty four billion, so that's fifty four billion. But then you gotta add Piccolo, and you gotta add Tien and Gokan, Goku or Goten. Um, now with Gotenks added on there, he would probably. Now I'm saying this out loud now. Yeah. No, Fat Boo actually, or Goku, Go, Buku, as he'd be known, would definitely, would actually probably be a lot stronger than, um, a, a, a lot weaker than Tian, uh, Tianhan. So Tianhan actually would end up beating Super Boo. 
Uh, well, ultimate, well, power-wise, it's like Vegito. Vegito completely outclassed Super Boo, but he was toying with him. Even taking him seriously, it would take a lot to completely destroy Super Boo and or Buku, and Buku would try to pull the his you know the trick of absorbing them. I'm sure, but they would probably power up and you know get a, uh, avoid that the best they can. And then you know with a combined you know multi-form tri beam Kamehameha or tri Kamehameha Maseko, whatever you call it, maybe they do eventually obliterate Boo completely, utterly, and then gone and you know put throw him into the sun, whatever. Uh, so I would say yes, they some they are far stronger. They do beat them because and they because they would be taking the fight more seriously than Vegito did. Now, where does that leave everything else? Well, we did learn that the Kai earrings would not last forever, uh, and they do actually end up defusing despite what uh, the Kai says. Like, wait, they end up defusing? Well, they're not Kai's. Like, then why'd you tell them they would last forever? Leave me alone. Uh, I'm old. So. They would eventually use the Dragon Balls in combination with the Mechian Balls to bring everyone back, bring Earth back, blah, blah, blah. And, frankly, that is... They, now, here's the thing. They would have the Blatara on standby. They would have that. Um, and, you know, the Vegeta gets brought back and all that, so it all works out in the end. Uh, now, you don't have that moment where Vegeta gets respect for Goku, but wait, I, I would imagine that Vegeta would. So you cut to the, uh, the Dragon Ball Super, beginning of uh, Battle of God's arc. Beerus wakes up. Goku's training on King Kai's planet. You know, he gets his ass kicked. All, all that. So they do have the Blatara earrings on call if they need it. So Beerus shows back up. And, you know, Tien and Goku or Gohan uh, fuse again to, you know, to combat him when he goes crazy. Uh, and, uh, uh, I mean, Vegeta might be willing to. But I think he, I think he'd be against it. So him and Tien both try to fuse again. They're weaker, unfortunately, now because Gohan stopped training as much, and you know they get their ass handed to him, just thoroughly handed to him. Then Goku comes, Super Saiyan God. Now Beerus and Whis would cause like, hmm, how did they get the Kai earrings? Uh, that's a good point. Whis, we're gonna have to have a talk with Shin. Uh, Shin, is like, uh, whoops. <laughs> So, uh, well, you, you see, Beers, I mean, they, it was Boo and all this. I don't give a crap. I don't give a cat's ass. Now, to be fair, does Beerus kind of, uh, does Beerus throw that fit? Not probably immediately, but I think he does eventually. He's like, where is this Super Saiyan God? Blah, 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 blah. Because Boo's dead. Um, and really, they probably would just take the earrings away, and after that, nothing changes really in the arc. Nothing changes on the series at all. So, really, the only difference you have is the fact that you don't get Kid Boo. Goku was the one absorbed, so you do get Boo Koo, uh, who would be a bit uh, better of a per uh, Boo, I suppose, compared to others, because, you know, he is go got Goku in him. Goku purifies the end of it. He purified the fucking Dr Dr Grand GT. He purified the four star ball to make a good Nova Shenron. So, ultimately, yeah, nothing drastic happens in this scenario, but enough changes happen that you get some unique stuff. Uh, so that's where we're going to leave it. That's that's what if Gohan had fused with Tien. Now, um, Owen had asked me, put some, uh, uh, you know, actual uh, uh, art of these guys. I'm like, I can't, look, I couldn't, even if I could find that. Um, first, I'd need the permission of the person to do it. I'm not a talented enough artist to do it on my own. And I don't have anything that puts graphics on the screen, so I can't do that myself. Sorry about that. Uh, if I could, trust me, I wouldn't a heartbeat. I wouldn't a heartbeat, but I can't. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Ideas for who win, Star Wars, Superior Magic, what if anything I do on this channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. I'll be back later with uh, uh, who would win. And it's the week of what ifs, so just keep your eyes out for that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.